God is with you there. If you go to your friends and they're at school and you want to minister to them, remember God is with you there. If you're going to work, wherever it may be, remember that God is with you because you're his son. And once you're a son, you're always a son. There is no end to that relationship. With that, we'll say a word of prayer. I'm going to ask my dad if he could conclude with a prayer. Lord, we are thankful for the message that reveals the heart of God toward us. And you did it in a very vivid way today. You allowed us to see ourselves through this parable. You allowed us to see our shortcomings and our need. So we're standing here today to let you know, oh God, that we have a great need and a great distance to be like you. We ask that you pour out your Holy Spirit upon us so that we can represent you in our search for the loss. Thank you, O oh Lord, for being that kind of God. Thank you, O oh Lord, for loving us so much that your love has been represented as invincible. We tried to escape it. We tried to hide from it. We tried to, 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 to go in opposite directions, but yet your love pursues us. Your love chases us. We cannot escape it. We are in this sanctuary today, not by our own choice, not by our own providence. You have set this appointment for us because you want our hearts and you want to reveal yourself to us. We're thankful, oh God, that the prodigal now has a plan for his life. The prodigals who return to the father's house now have their eyes opened. What they couldn't see before, they see now. What they used to like to do, they don't like to do anymore because they recognize that it is like chasing the wind. But now, oh God, we're com we've come home. And we come all the way home, not just in location, but also in mind. We're coming back to where it was safe, coming back to where God's love protected us, coming back to where we can be nurtured. We've left our father's house. We left our father's principles. We, we, we thought that it was just a bunch of do's and don'ts, but now we see that it was love that was dictating our father's decisions, our father's plans that he had for us. It's love. It was like a fence around us, but now, Lord, we, we're coming home. There are individuals in this sanctuary today that you're calling home. Chase them, Lord. Don't let them depart and, and go back to where they were. Let them stay home. Let them not feel comfortable leaving the Father's house. So surround us, O oh Lord. We have come to this altar. And there are still some that may have not had the courage maybe to come forward and I pray that you would chase them and soften them oh God and lure them pull them gently by your love we learn oh God that only the love of God can bring us to repentance only the love of God can change our hearts and if there's anything that's preventing us from seeing that love whether it be pride, whether it be uh, uh, selfishness, remove it now, O oh God. 
so that your plans will be done in our lives. I want to pray for the parents, O oh Lord, like myself, who are tested to, to, to exhibit the kind of love that you had toward the human race. And sometimes we do get tired. Sometimes we do get weary. I pray that you would fortify all parents so that they don't give up on their sons and daughters. But they, they begin to represent you, your patience, your meekness, your love, so that uh, they're surprised at our responses. So we ask, oh God, that you bless the decisions and any movement towards you, oh God, I pray that you would magnify it in their own minds. For every step, oh Lord, we pray that you take three towards them so that your name will be honored today. We did not come this last Sabbath of the year to, to play church. We came, oh Lord, to, to see a move of God in the hearts of those who are calling on you now. We're calling on you, oh God, to work. We're calling on you to do beyond what the preacher can do, what the pastor can do. We're calling on you to move into hearts and change hearts. Th those who are resistant to coming home, oh Lord, we pray that you break every barrier, every bondage of sin, and then transform us, oh Lord so that we might be prepared for this next year because we're in the Father's house. We'll pray more often. We'll seek your face more often. We'll, we will not take a step without you. We'll not abandon the teachings that we once had as in our youth that we'll return to those teachings. For the Father has given us the kingdom and he wants us in that kingdom so bless us, O oh Lord. Bless all today. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. Give somebody an embrace and please head back to your seats.